Hi, it's a bit gloomy outside today, so we're gonna stay inside and do some editing. I got a shot from last week on Palm Jumeirah. It's a beautiful villa looking out to the sea and we shot it at golden hour. So I've got a nice sunset shot to edit and I'm gonna show you how to do that beautifully in under a minute. So let's get to it. Right, here we are in Lightroom, and we're gonna do all of this in Lightroom. Nothing's gonna be done in Photoshop at all, just simple adjustments done in Lightroom, very, very quick. Now I'm gonna talk you through it in great detail, and then we're gonna do a real-time edit at the end just to see how quick it actually is. Now this photo was actually shot handheld. Just one shot is required for this because there's no extreme highlights or shadows. So I just kept the exposure um, in the middle not too high because I don't want to blow out the highlights which we can never get back so it's important that you don't overexpose and also make sure that you don't block any of the scene by going too low if you went any lower than this then the hedge here would be blocking a lot of the sea which would be no good okay so we got our two photos here just a side by side comparison so you can see what it looks like as a raw file as it comes into Lightroom and I've got an edited version right next to it here which uh, I did earlier. So you can see the edited version and the original version. So the first thing we're going to do is to apply a preset. Now I've already done a video on how to create a preset and use them in Lightroom. So just go into my channel and look up that video. But uh, once you've done that, all you need to do is select it from your user presets. I'm gonna use my neutral real estate for this one. So I'm just gonna click on that. Now you can see the adjustments it's made. There's just a few changes here, nothing too drastic. But what I'm also going to do is change the profile for this one because I do like the landscape profile for any uh, landscape or outdoor exterior photos for my real estate. All right, so we can already see some nice changes. The next thing to do uh, would be to alter the exposure. Now what I'm going to do with these kind of photos is treat this as two photos. The first photo is this area here, the foreground, which is the, the house, basically the back garden and the awning over the top of the garden and the doors, etc. So the foreground here, and then the second part will be the sky. So I'm gonna forget about the sky for now and just think about the foreground. So I need to adjust the white balance. So I'm gonna select the white balance tool and simply just click up here. I know that's white. As you can see, that's applied the white balance changes to the entire photo. All I'm concerned about right now is the foreground. So I'm just gonna address the exposure for the foreground and then just increase that by sliding to the right until I'm happy with the exposure. Well, we'll keep an eye on the histogram. At the top here, you can see the histogram. You can also slide on the histogram to change your exposure to where you want it. Just keep an eye on the left and right hand sides to make sure you're not going over or under exposed. You can also turn on these clipping masks here just on the right and left so you can see if you've gone over or under. The blacks will appear in blue as you can see there and if you're clipping with the whites, you'll see them in red. So just make sure that you're not seeing a lot of red and you're not seeing a lot of blues. A little of each is fine. As you can see, you've got a little red there and a little black there. So that's not too bad. I will adjust slightly the temperature because it is golden hour, so I do want a little bit more orangey yellows coming through, uh, just a touch. Okay, so that's my foreground done. Next thing I'm gonna do is address the sky. So a great new tool in Lightroom, and hopefully you have it. If you haven't got this, then simply just update your Lightroom Classic, but you click on the masking button here and then select sky. Give the algorithm a minute to pick up where the sky is. Check that it's done a good job by hovering over this icon here. That looks pretty good to me. You can turn that on permanently if you click here, but I prefer just to check it and turn it off when I'm editing. So now we're editing just the sky. What I'm gonna do is take the exposure down to bring out the detail in that sky. And I'm also gonna hit the dehaze slider a little bit. Not too much, if you go too drastic with that, you can see it brings in a lot of saturation and it doesn't look realistic. So just a little bit of that is Perfect. I'm also gonna add a tiny bit of clarity and texture is really nice for skies. Let me slide that right up to the max so you can see the difference and you can see that lovely texture in the sky. But obviously that looks a little bit crazy so I'm just gonna bring that back to a reasonable amount. I'm also gonna add a little bit of contrast and I'm gonna adjust the temperature. 
just a little bit to the right there to bring in some of those golden hour, nice orangey clouds. Again, if you slide right up and right down, you can find exactly where you need to be. And then just slide until you're happy. I'm just gonna go for a little touch. Once you've done that, just hit the done button at the bottom. That'll bring you back to global settings. And then you can just adjust for the entire scene. I'm just gonna hit it a little bit more to the right on the exposure. And that's basically it. So all I need to do now is make sure that everything is nice and straight. So you can see the uh, verticals are a little bit dodgy here. So we will adjust that. We can either hit the auto button on the upright adjustments. Sometimes as you can see, it doesn't always do a good job. So let's hit off and go to guided and then you can manually add them yourself. So what you want to do is look for verticals in the extremes of the photo. I'm gonna select this area here click my mouse and then drag it to the bottom as far as I can go. The longer your line is, the more accurate it's going to be. So around there should be good. And you'll need to do another vertical so it has something to align it with. Uh, I don't have much to go with that's long on the left hand side. So what I'm gonna do is use this pole in the middle and just go on the right hand side of it. Drag down to the bottom as far as you can go in the same place and then let go and that'll adjust. And then again, just click done. You can also do that with the horizontals if you need to, but I don't think I need to on this one. And that is it. Now let's see how long that edit takes in real time. So I'm just going to reset that back to square one. Okay, now we're gonna start the stopwatch and see how quickly we can get an edit like this done. Ready, steady, and go. And that's done. One other thing that you can do, if you wanna go back and make any adjustments to the sky afterwards, you can simply just click on the masking button and then hover over and click on the arrow that you've got in the sky there. That will bring your selection back for the sky. And then you can make some more adjustments. On this one, I wanna increase the dehaze a little bit more and make it a little bit more dramatic. There we go. And that's it, as simple as that. Thanks very much for watching. I hope that was useful. Please do check out some other videos to help you along the way with your real estate editing and hope to see you again soon.